Joining in on the excitement of tomorrow's eclipse, Action News reporter Sharifa Jackson talked to experts about how to safely view the eclipse. This total solar eclipse is a once in a lifetime experience. People are putting their plans in place to view the phenomenon and also celebrate it. Hey, here's the sun. The countdown is on for the historic total eclipse, something Bonnie Tobin has been looking forward to for months. So we've been talking about the eclipse almost the entire year now. Even though the Philadelphia area isn't in the path of totality, Monday's partial total eclipse still has people excited. At Tyler State Park in Richboro, Pennsylvania, Bucks County, park rangers are teaching children how to safely view the eclipse. The most important thing is to protect your eyes. You don't look directly at the sun on a normal day, and you definitely don't look at the sun during an eclipse. And about the science behind it. I'm, I'm excited for tomorrow so it can happen. It will be a bonding experience for this father and daughter duo. It's really cool. I mean, it happens very rarely, so it's really cool to experience this with her and her being so young and, you know, seeing it for the first time. And the excitement for Monday's solar eclipse also includes sweet treats. At Loshel's Bakery in Hatboro, they have perfected those treats. Inside, you'll find a mix of intergalactic cakes, cupcakes, and cake pops. Customers are quite literally eating them up. I would say right now we're on to about 300 cupcakes in the past two days, about 40, 50 of the cakes, and the cake pops we've sold out of twice, and each batch makes 200. Everyone ready to take in the moment when it feels like the world. We're not going to have an eclipse quite like this one for another maybe 350 years. Comes to a stop. Sharifa Jackson for Action News at 10 on PHL 17.